Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. The first stop is in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Northern New Mexico first. This is Ski Santa Fe, 17 inches in the last 48 hours out of this storm system that developed in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Taos picking up about 8 inches in the last 48 hours. Here's Wolf Creek. Um, they've got a foot so far out of this storm system. Probably not quite done yet, but uh, definitely winding down at this point but a nice little storm system with fresh snow southern colorado northern new mexico here are my bullet points here moving forward so the next thing on the list because this storm is going to move out and it will become this east coast storm system the energy will dive down into the gulf cross florida and develop into a pretty strong area of low pressure and then it's going to move up the east coast with a lot of wind and primarily rain because it's going to move into a warmer air mass and so it's going to be rain all rain at the big ski areas of the northeast initially um, from like 1217 through 1218 and then it turns over to some snow on 1219 some some light snow on the tail end of this thing but again mainly a warm storm in california you've got uh, the next wave or first wave of snow that moves in uh, late 1217 into 1218 now i'm going to tell you the snow levels are going to be high like nine to ten thousand feet initially that is really really high from mammoth to tahoe and that's going to significantly cut down on snow totals out of this 12 late 12 17 12 18 push of moisture now after this moves through the snow levels will gradually fall but initially they're going to be very high in utah colorado and wyoming um, snow comes and it looks very light after 12 20. Um, there may be some heavier snows down the road with a more active pattern but that doesn't happen until you know, 1223 or, or later at this point. So that initial wave of snow is going to be light in Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you the uh, water vapor satellite imagery here. Um, so we've got a couple of things going on. Let me mark the, the low that's exiting. So it's right here, exiting Colorado and uh, New Mexico. That's going to dive down, and then it's going to move its way up the east coast as a strong area of low pressure. Now this is part of a trough that is sinking and this will be part of the future pattern that this low will probably set up right in here and it's going to wait and then gradually it's going to move into California late 12, 17, 12, 18 but again all the cold air is cut off it's bottled up into Canada which means this moisture is going to run right into that warm air that Pacific blast and again a very high snow level here's a forecast radar and satellite so that's the current state of affairs right now storm winding down moving out and then we're in the doldrums for at least a few days with not much happening other than cloud cover and just getting blasted with that warm pacific air across the west very warm temperatures um, everywhere now in california here comes that wave of precip and there again there is going to be some snow at very high elevations but again very high there's 1219 in the morning, 1219 in the afternoon. Another wave comes into the Sierra, but the snow levels are still pretty high at that point. So then potentially that wave that you see in California moves into the interior as some very light snows, very light. But it will be something when it moves in Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming, probably 1220, 1221. What I'm more interested in is what does that wave do to the pattern? Does it set us up for an active flow through Christmas and beyond, or does it not? Um, that's, that's the question here at this point. All right, let me show you what the jet looks like. Um, so this is 1217 as that trough begins to move towards California, still pushing all that warm air and that moisture in. This is even further down the road, 1223. So at this point, it's clear the southern branch is, is the main player. Although you'll notice it, the northern branch is bottling up all that cold air in Canada, but it does look like there's a jet streak coming off the Pacific there. Um, so we'll have to see what that effect has on the west. Does it mean a more active pattern after 1223? It could. It could. So um, that's, that's a possibility. All right, let me show you the numbers here, and, and there's not much. So this is through 1220, uh, 1216. There's just nothing there. All right, 1217 through 1223, there's still not much there. And keep in mind, again, those California totals are knocked down because of that warm air. Um, the best numbers are going to be up in the B.C. Um, let's talk about the East Coast storm system. So this is uh, 1217, very late in the day. You can see the the trough, the indentation there in the jet, and that's what's supporting and helping that area of low pressure develop and carrying it north. But it's pushing all that warm air up into the, uh, the ski areas of the northeast, so we're going to see all rain initially. This is the forecast radar 
1218 in the morning, you can see all the green through Vermont, New Hampshire, New York, and Maine. Again, all rain initially through 12, 1217, 1218, and then it will change over to snow late 1218 into 1219. But again, that's the end of the storm, so I'm not looking for a lot of accumulation at that point. Here are the numbers. Um, between now and 1223, again, maybe a few inches of accumulation in some spots, um, but it's mainly a rain event through the course of the storm system. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.